Good morning everybody and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show how to implement the busy indicator control available in the Essential Studio for Xamarin Suite from Syncfusion. More specifically, I'm going to implement this control in a Xamarin Form application. For this example, I'm taking advantage of the Xamarin Form starter kit that I published to GitHub as an open source project. So basically, we will use the busy indicator control to replace the built-in activity indicator control in Xamarin Forms. So let me show what the sample application does. If you, um, if you open the project on the GitHub page, you saw that this is just a news reader for the Channel 9 website. And if you now refresh, you can see the built-in activity indicator control from Xamarin Forms. We will replace this with the Syncfusion's uh, busy indicator. So the first thing you have to do is adding the proper references. Let's start by adding a reference in the portable, uh, in the portable class library project. So add reference. I already have a list of uh, recently added references, but let's click browse for the sake of completeness. Then you have to go in the folder where the libraries of uh, Essential Studio for Xamarin are installed. In my case, because I have a 64-bit machine, they are under Program Files x86, Syncfusion, Essential Studio, the version number, Xamarin, lib. Here you can see a subfolders, each containing libraries for a specific platform. So in this case, I'm going to enter the PCL folder and then I'm going to select the syncfusion.sfbizindicator.xforms.dll library and click add. Okay, great. The next step I'm going to do is uh, adding references to platform specific projects. In this case, I'm just targeting targeting uh, uh, the Android project, but the, the steps are very similar to uh, the other platform specific projects. Add reference, browse, I go again in lib, Android, and then I will find three specific libraries for the busy indicator control. So I will select all the three libraries and click add. Okay. And here we go. That's it. Now, let's go to the main page.xaml file and let's add the proper XML namespace to import the Syncfusion control. So I'm calling this namespace with the busy indicator identifier and I'm going to specify the namespace and the assembly name. Okay, at this point I can replace the activity indicator control with the busy indicator SF busy indicator. You probably know that the Xamarin IntelliSense is still missing some capabilities, so you have to pay attention in writing manually some code. Then I'm going to replace is running with the is busy. The next thing I have to do is specifying the animation type. Let me... Okay, here you can see a list of supported animations. Let's start by the horizontal pulsing box. Okay, now in the code behind file I have to replace the is running uh, property with Again, the here is busy and as uh, you can see as I told you before IntelliSense busy. still needs some work all right and then is busy great now let's rebuild this project okay cool now let's start the application again Let's click refresh and as you can see there is a new animation provided by the busy indicator control. Let me show it again. All right. Great. 
Now, let's go back here and let's select a different animation type. So, for example, we can select globe, which is okay when downloading contents from the internet, for example. Okay, so let's see a different animation. Again, great. The official documentation from Syncfusion provides detailed information for each kind of uh, supported animation. So this is, these uh, are the steps uh, you need, uh, whatever animation type you choose. Now let's see how to make some customizations to uh, the busy indicator control. Let's return to the horizontal pulsing box and let's see how to customize a bit the busy indicator control. So for example, you can select the different sides by assigning the view box width and view box eight properties. So for example, I can select the view box width and eight properties and assign 80 as a value. And let's start again. As you can see, it's larger. So, if you need a busy indicator control of a different size, you can just uh, change the value for these two properties. So, the busy indicator control contained the Essential Studio for Xamarin by Syncfusion is an amazing control that allows you to show customers that your app is busy in a very more appealing way. Thank you for watching this video.